what's really good fam it is your boy david brand new oh, back with another video for you oh. and today we got another banger video i'm pretty sure this one's a fat tire folding e-bike let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside So I was about to go ride this bike, take it on his first ride off-roading, but we actually ran into an issue. Uh, the bike will not turn on for some reason. It says to hold down the M button and the LCD should turn on, but it actually didn't turn on. So what I'm gonna do is put this bike on the charger. Maybe the battery's dead, I don't know, but hopefully we can ride this bike today. If not, it is what it is. All right guys, it's a little bit later in the day. The battery is fully charged. Let's go ahead and throw it on the bike and see if the bike works now. All right, the battery's in. Let's go ahead and turn it on now. And there we go, we got power guys. Let's go ahead and take it for its first ride. What's up guys, currently on the far bike. Let's go ahead and dive into these settings. I'm already noticing that the bike is cutting out at 20 miles per hour, so let's change that. It was also in kilometers per hour. Let's change it to miles. It should be P08, yep. So right now it tops out at 32 kilometers, which is 20 miles per hour. Let's up that to the max speed, which is 41 kilometers per hour that's like 25 miles per hour or something like that all right guys now that we changed the settings let's go ahead and take it off roading see how she handles i'm already noticing that this bike is fast as hell oh yes so even though the battery was charged it's already showing that we're losing power interesting let's slow down right here it's a little wet Throttle only, it looks like we can maintain 24 miles per hour, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and start pedaling now. Currently have it all the way up in eighth gear. I'm getting a lot of resistance, which is good. We're already going 30, 31, what? That can't be right. Woo! It was showing 31 pedal assist. If so, that's amazing. We'll definitely do a top speed run, GPS verify, and a hill climb towards the end of the video. Yeah, we're maintaining 28 miles per hour and it definitely feels like it. Oh, yes. My only complaint so far is the giraffe neck stem, guys. Speaking of giraffe neck stem, if you guys want to pick up a turtle neck stem, that's the product I created. It allows you to switch out this long, ugly stem for some cool BMX bars. Go ahead and pick one up. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe if I had a turtle neck stem, I would have did that. Like I was saying, go ahead and uh, pick one up. I will leave a link to the turtleneck stem in the description down below. Woo! Slow down, slow down, slow down. Yeah. How's it going? Nope. All right, let's go ahead and pull over right here, guys. Let's take a look at this bike. What are we working with? This thing is an animal. I'm not gonna lie, at first I thought the far bike wasn't gonna take us too far because the battery was not working. But we finally got it to work and guys, I'm not mad at it. This bike has some heat. If the speedometer is accurate, we were going like 30 miles per hour and that was off road. I can only imagine how fast this bike is on flat ground. Things that I would change about the bike, definitely taking off those fenders. I'm definitely taking off that rear rack and I'm definitely swapping out that giraffe neck stem for a turtle neck stem. Other than that, I'm not even mad at the step through. I like the paint job. It's definitely popping. I like these grips too. They're super sporty, nice and comfortable. All right guys, let's go back home, put the bike back on the charger. Tomorrow, I'm gonna take it for a top speed run, GPS verified, and we're also gonna take it up a hill. Let's be careful. We do have protective gear on, but if we fall, it's okay. Ugh. Woo -hoo -hoo, yes. We are ripping through this. Come on. Nice. Yeah, this bike is quality. I can already tell.
What's up guys, it's a brand new day. We're at the designated spot about to perform this top speed run. I have a feeling that the speedometer is a little bit off, so we're gonna GPS verify it with the phone app. First one's gonna be throttle only. You guys ready? Three, two, one, go. Let's see if we're faster than this regular bike. No. <laughs> There's a guy behind us. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, speedometer's way faster. It says we're going 28 miles per hour. We're only going 22. You freaking liars. 32, yeah, right. We're only going 24 miles per hour, guys. 25, we're picking up speed a little bit. Here we go. 26. Looks like the top speed is 26 miles per hour. GPS verified, guys. I'm gonna make the speedometer a little bit more accurate. In order to do that, we need to change the wheel size. So it's gonna be PO6. That one needs to be dropped all the way down to maybe 20 let's try 20. we're gonna do another throttle only gps run let's see how accurate the speedometer is now here we go three two one go currently going nine miles per hour on the speedometer 13 let's see let's see 16 it's kind of close it's reading like one mile or maybe two miles per hour faster Currently going 22, 23, but 21 in real life. 23, yeah. All right, so it looks like we need to change the setting a little bit more. Almost got hit in the face with a freaking bug. All right, that time it was a little bit closer, but let me dive into the settings one more time. I think we can get it like pretty accurate now. So we're gonna go to PO6 and we're gonna change that to 20. Let's see if that makes a difference, all right? This next test is gonna be pedal assist. We got it all the way up in pedal assist five. You guys ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Let's crank those pedals. I'm not gonna even change the gear. We're in gear eight right now. Currently going 17 miles per hour. Oh yeah, look at how accurate that is. Spot on. 22, 23, 24. Okay, 25. Can we go any faster? 26 it's pretty easy i'm not even working hard looks like 26 miles per hour is the top speed guys one thing that i don't like about this bike is how the battery fluctuates this battery is fully charged and it's already dropping currently on our way to the designated hill climb test spot let's test out the suspension a little bit more it's a little bit rough over here it's unfortunate that we weren't able to go 30 miles per hour on this bike man that would have been amazing but 26 miles per hour is pretty standard with these folding fat tire e-bikes like the cheap folding e-bikes those max out at like 20 miles per hour the mid caliber e-bikes max out at like 25 26 and like the higher end e-bikes max out at like 28 plus sometimes even faster than 30 miles per hour all right guys we're at the designated hill climb test spot about to perform this hill test first one's going to be throttle only you guys ready three two one go all right let's see how she does up the hill this is going to be the true test right here this hill right here makes or breaks an e-bike here we go look at that guy struggling up there let's see if we can catch him the bike is already slowing down though that's not a good sign oh my gosh wow nope it's creeping up the hill oh no we're at six miles per hour nope it's not going to do it dang that is disappointing man i hate to see it that's why we do these tests though guys i know they all look the same but performance wise they don't perform the same all right guys back at the bottom of the hill the final test is going to be a pedal assist hill climb test we should be able to do way better by pedaling so you guys ready here we go three two one go we're going to crank the pedals let's drop the gears i'm thinking what gear five we'll put it in four just to be safe currently pedaling like a hamster it's okay we're about to get some resistance right now here we go all right here we go now we're getting some resistance let's see if we can pedal up this hill without putting too much work into it all right it's moving it's not the fastest though the motor sounds a little bit better it definitely doesn't sound like it's about to die we're making it up the hill but i'm not impressed Let's see how fast this bike is downhill though. Throttle only. Currently going 25. <laughs> oh my God, just lost my breath. 32, 
33. Looks like we maxed out at 33, guys. Not bad. This is the Far Bike Bolt. Let me show you guys some of the components before we wrap the video up. So here's the tires. They're gonna be 20 by four inch Kenda branded. This bike has 180 millimeter disc brakes. They are gonna be hydraulic. Here's the front fork. It's definitely not gonna be top of the line, but you can make some adjustments. The bike also comes with a headlight. Moving up to the dash, here's the grips. They're ergonomic, but they're sporty. Nice and slim, not too big and bulky. Sometimes these grips can be so big that it makes your hands numb but these are perfect. Thumb throttle is gonna be located on the left-hand side. Here's the hydraulic brakes. They're unbranded, but they've been working quite fine. The LCD screen is gonna be an M5. This is the same LCD screen as the Electric XP. And then on the right-hand side, we have the trigger shifter. These are my favorite types of shifters. If you guys are looking to buy an e-bike, try to get one with this type of shifter, trust me. It's super comfortable. It's not all big and bulky on the top. This bike also comes with a bell. Here's the 48 volt battery. It's housed inside of the frame, so it's nice and clean. And then moving to the rear, here's the rear rack. You guys know how I feel about these. The max weighted hose is 25 kilograms. Here's the brake light right here. It's nice and big. And then on the other side, we have a Shimano Acera derailleur. My overall thoughts of the bike, I actually like the bike. It was a little bit deceiving at first. I thought the bike felt a little bit faster when we were taking it off road. But as you can see, the bike maxed out at 26 miles per hour. If you do end up getting this bike, make sure that the LCD screen is accurate. But overall, this is a quality bike. I really like the hydraulic brakes. Power wise, it definitely had enough power on flat ground. I was a little bit underwhelmed when we hit that hill. I think a lot of you guys will like the fact that it comes with fenders and a rear rack. If it were me, I would take these off. I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up keeping this one. If I do, you already know I'm changing out that long giraffe neck stem for a turtle neck stem. If you guys want to learn more about it, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. And that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. I have so many e-bikes to review. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, deuces like that. Yee!